then subharu subharu means you should be a, an easily supportable person sometimes uh, we come i think most people complain a lot when they go to restaurant no 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 good thing you know right they always try to compare with other people that kind of life is very difficult for other people some people are overly doing that right cuz they are not easily supportable people right because nowadays we have lots of uh, price matching service matching everywhere you go to a certain center you be in a service ah, okay what about that center it's better than this huh? because you always do the service match right you will do it for your money but for the spiritual things if you're going to do that you will st uh, stuck stagnate in that practice because each place or each product has its own unique attributes right subharo means you should be somebody who can easily survive you, you could say I, i want to be a minimalist not necessarily right you should enjoy your life uh, in a moral way in a wholesome way but you should not be a burden to other people some are very some are giving lots of burden to other people right that is subharu appakichu means create time for the necessary things you are not we, we all are busy but we should make time for good things if we make time for our family we should make time for the necessary thing out of whatever the busy things that we are involved with but what the buddha says here is that whatever the work you have but you are creating at least some activities for your necessary activities maybe your family right maybe your other things whatever the necessary things cuz some people are just uh, taken away by their load of work i can't do anything i have so much work already right so uh, in order to understand that particular person we have to tell that person you may be doing things but make some time for your this and that particular important things that's important sal lahuka butti sal lahuka butti means simple life butti means life sal lahuka means simple life what is a simple life to you are we looking for a big house uh, i yeah, i tell people if you have money go for it we can't say no because each one is not making the same living some people can make it but some people cannot make it they are doing lots of hard work to go to that big house suffering a lot for that people it's not a good idea understanding the capacity if you can make it go for it the, the buddhism does not say you should have this kind of house this much money that never talks about it he said whatever the money you have whatever the things you have they are maybe your karma past life they may be things you have done in this life but do not be greedy for whatever the things you are using that is buddhism now greed means that uh, you are it's not attachment actually we all are attached to everything we are attached to our mother i mean we have to be honest we are attached to our father attached to our family uh, we have some attachments but when the attachment becomes greed then we are going to control them we are going to uh, you know sort of uh, slow down reduce our spiritual life uh, we are we don't think that things are moving smoothly you feel like you feel like it's a burden to you you know it's a burden like let's say you love somebody and you you know there are things you have to do definitely your commitments and all that but but when you are greedy you probably control that person that much and and things are not happening there are no good communications happening and uh, i think it's kind of like you are trying to stop the sm the smooth transition the smooth processing that that level is not good otherwise we are attached to uh, people uh, you have to accept that <laughs> otherwise it's a lie uh, it also depends because uh, let's say now your thing that uh, weighs you down or lift you up could be not the other person's something that weighs that person down or lift that person up but anyways it is a personal thing as you say it's a personal thing let's say you know whether you are greedy or that person is greedy that you are with in your life right it's kind of a very personal type of thing to un but the bottom line is greed right so uh, what the buddha is more into is that if you create uh, greed out of anything even for dhamma not about your personal life let's say dhamma 
uh, someone comes over here and that person is taking dhamma path as a practice of greed i would say uh, gossiping never putting into practice right and then uh, not humble enough uh, right so those uh, i would say uh, i would uh, they, they are called as blind spots in their spiritual life they will really cover stop that person's life yes um, what about i'm thinking something like not sharing like not sharing your wealth not sharing what you have and not using that that whatever you have to, to help people hmm. you you're using it all for yourself yeah that is that is greed uh, coming out of lots of sakkaya it is uh, self centeredness i think yeah that's that's uh, definitely on the surface level is greed now what what we are talking here is that sal lahuka but the simple life minimal life does not mean a small house don't take it wrong it's not a small house it's not a kuti it's not a house in the jungle uh, minimal life means maybe you have a mansion otherwise everybody every buddhist house have, have to have a very small house should it work for buddhist i don't think so it depends on your uh, way of life whatever the house whatever the things that you have maybe you have an expensive car not a maybe a small one maybe a big house maybe lot some money whatever the things you have you are not creating greed for that particular thing in your life okay so minimalist life doesn't mean a small house a small car in a expensive life no it means that you are not creating greed for whatever the things you have santindriyo calm senses what does it mean your senses are calm are our senses are calm what are the senses do we have we have eyes ears nose tongue body and mind are they really calm all the time i in the zen meditation uh, in japan when you are on retreat if you fall asleep somebody come and <laughs> oh really mindfulness <laughs> zen practice you can't sleep yes in zen practice they do some weird stuff to you know if something happens to you while the practice they do we don't like that we don't go to hit people you can't hit people you can't do any violence in buddhism what the buddha says it's a mental transformation you only transform your mind then your body will be okay too santindriyo means that you are trying to reflect upon what you do through your eyes ears nose tongue body mind and then you are bringing lots of serenity to that calmness to that it's not that you are trying to uh, control yourself any good example uh, shopping shopping is a good one now let's say you go into a uh, shopping mall whatever xyz shopping mall and you see that there is a clearance uh, area probably this could be the entering area where you see the clearance you went to this shop couple months ago those stuffs were very expensive at that time now the prices have go, been gone down because of the season maybe something else then what happens you go there with a list of things to buy maybe your wife gave you that maybe your husband gave you now your mind is so much taken away by the clearance now what what can happen to you you might probably end up with buying those clear and stuff that means we are not empowering our eyes we empower in the external things objects the buddha says empower your internal senses and then develop saddha viriya sati samadhi panya those are the spiritual faculties saddha means trust viriya means energy f right effort Uh, sati means right mindfulness samadhi means right concentration panya means wisdom we have to empower our internal senses but unfortunately our senses are very weak when the external things are coming on to us they take us down they take us we have to empower strengthen them that is what we call by santindriyo then nipako nipako means rise to an occasion that means you know what to do in a certain situation you are very thoughtful uh, do you see such people in your life all the time not many people have that courage let's say there's an event not any not many people can understand what to do there is a need now uh, arising but one person is noticing what's going on here maybe i had to go and then do that help right so this is this may be kind of an extra good stuff 
extra good stuff. Very thoughtful about Nipako.